What is up Star Wars fans? Welcome to the Star Wars Stop. In this video we're going to discuss what I feel is the current best gun in Star Wars Battlefront 2, the EL16HFE. This is the last gun you will unlock with the Assault class and given the recent nerfs and bug fixes to other guns in this game, I do feel it's the best gun in the game. I'm going to recommend the reduced recoil and the improved range on this gun definitely. There's not really any reason to use the scope. You don't want the tunnel vision that comes with using a scope. But the improved uh, range is going to really help you maintain high damage at close range. And this gun was obviously designed with that in mind, to be used as a long range rifle. But as you can see in these clips I'm going to show you right now, you can definitely use this gun at close range as well. You'll see I'll be able to outgun people up close by maintaining my strafe, jumping up and down, and just tapping that trigger as fast as I can, aiming for their head and center mass chest. That's going to be able to dish out a lot of damage. And the other thing you got to remember when you're using the assault class is you don't really need that close range of a gun because you have this awesome ability called Shock Trooper where you pull out a freaking shotgun. But this gun, like I said, it was designed heavily in mind to use downrange as a marksman kind of rifle. So it's going to shine most at that, you know, long range encounter. As you can see here, these long sight lines, like on a map like this on Tatooine, when you have so many enemies coming down this long, narrow hallway, that's what this gun is going to really shine on. Situations like this, where you can consistently just drop enemies from very far. Now, I don't recommend you keep the gun aimed down. I recommend you find the target with the gun aimed out and zoom in on them and then start shooting at them. And up close, you may not even want to aim it down sights at all, which is what I do. I only really aim it down when I find a target that's very far and I want to shoot it then. But as you can see, on the farthest of the far maps, crate, you can absolutely use this as a sniper almost. That's how long the range is on this. And because of how squishy other enemy snipers are and because of how long it takes them to aim and put a shot on you, you will win that firefight very often against them because it takes you so you have you don't sh when a sniper shoots a shot they have this massive kick and they have to first of all the fire rate's not as fast as the EL16 HFE so it takes them much longer to get back on target but with you using the EL16 HFE you can consistently just put shots down and this is just some medium range um, examples and as you can see it, it excels on mi mid range as well. Here, I'm going to be using it um, on Starkiller Base, and it's going to be an onslaught because the, the Stormtroopers are going to keep trying to get on this objective, but it, it's, it's so good at popping headshots that they're not going to really be able to get on this objective with me guarding it with this gun. And um, that's kind of the beauty of the guy. I use this gun in every single... I'm pretty much an exclusively an Assault class player. And I use this gun to grab my hero as fast as possible because I just find that I can rack up points so quickly. Now, there are other awesome guns in this game, don't get me wrong, like the snipers and like the blurg. But the problem is, with a gun like the blurg, you have to get relatively close. There's no way you're going to be popping enemies from as long range as you can with this gun. While I would probably rather have the Blurg for a close range encounter, it's just not going to be as good in medium and long range encounters like the EL-16 HFV is. And then if you're going to compare it to a sniper, well the problem with the sniper is the fire rate's a little bit slower and it's not going to be as good as close range encounters. So that's why I believe this is the best gun in the game because it can kind of do close range, medium range, and long range very effectively. You know what I mean? So that's kind of why I believe and when you put it on a class like the Assault class, like I said, he has Shock Trooper, so he doesn't need a gun that's going to be super, super good in close range. Not saying this gun is not good at close range, but the point is he can always pull out his shotgun and just absolutely destroy an enemy. So the, the thing is, it's the perfect gun for the Assault class, in my opinion. And you'll see in these close range counters, here's a great example of me going toe to toe with an officer. Now, I probably could have pushed him right here because I had full health and he had almost no health left from our initial gunfight, but I wanted to get a little cute with it, so I decided to sneak around and give him a chance to actually regen some of his health. And as you can see here, by using my jumping up and down and just consistently firing that, I'm able to absolutely destroy him. And then here, we have another great example on Kamino, where I'm going to take on this super battle droid with full health. Now, he has got way more health than me, but since I'm consistently jumping up and down and rolling, he can't hit me and I can hit him. And then I'm going to finish him off with melee. 
Now, the cool thing is, remember, as the Assault class, I don't have to just rely on this gun because I have a shotgun that I can pull out. So, now that I'm done shooting enemies from long range, I know I'm going to pull out this shotgun and take out some enemies at close range. And, again, that's the beauty of using the EL-16 HFE on the Assault class, is that you can always pull out this shotgun when you want to just absolutely destroy at close range. That's why I've never understood the reasoning for using that SMG on the Assault class because you you have to get so close to use that gun and you already have an awesome shotgun in your back pocket so wouldn't you rather have a gun that's going to help you at medium and long range distances but here you can see I'm going to I'm going to just keep popping stormtrooper heads this is so fun the other thing is to use your grenades because that's going to soften up big groups of enemies and allow you to kind of put one or two shots on them to kill them the headshot damage on this gun is ridiculously high if you can if the thing is this is not like a broken gun and this is not a very very easy to use gun it's something that's going to take a little bit of practice to be honest but once you get it down and once it clicks you'll realize what i'm talking about when i say this is definitely the best gun in star wars battlefront 2. but i hope you guys enjoy this be sure to rate like comment subscribe and stay tuned for tons and tons of battlefront content have an awesome day guys